No, never in the name of Jesus, Toffee Aqua, never! Church is not a building. The church is not an organization. The church is me and you. The church is the body of Christ. So if somebody is promoting anti-Christian rhetoric, they're not the church. It's that simple. Jesus is good. The devil is bad. That's the most simple format we're going to put this spiritual battle in. So those that are connected to the side of good, you're already on one step closer to the Lord Jesus Christ because he's the ultimate good. He's the light. Don't listen to the defamation of, of Christianity. Don't listen to how the devil has crept in unawares in some of these churches and some of these organizations that are supposed to be representing Christianity. And then... That is used to defame the whole of Christianity. Don't allow it. No more. Look at the way the devil operates. Look at this story today with Justin Welby and the, the, a pedophilia case. What will, what, what will the devil try and use that for? Why is the devil exposed that? Why is the devil caused these people to do these atrocious things? Because it's part of the defamation of the church in Britain. And why would they want to defame now? Because the church is rising. We are rising. Is it coincidence that we get these victories with this anti-Christian clothing? And just a few days later, there's a huge attack in terms of the, 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 the defamation and reputation of Christianity. We don't, we don't deal with coincidences. In the spiritual realm, there's no coincidence. The only coincidence is when God chooses to remain anonymous. So we know these things. We see them. Our eyes are open. So for those watching out there, don't believe these lies that the church is, is something full of pedophiles or the church is, is, promotes trans and LGBTQ ideologies. No, never in the name of Jesus. Toffee Aqua, never. We're not going to do that. The church is not a building. The church is not an organization. The church is me and you. The church is the body of Christ. We are the church. So if somebody is promoting anti-Christian rhetoric, they're not the church. It's that simple. They, they can wear their attire. They can wear the crosses. They can speak some of, of the nice words. But if the doctrine is of the devil and not of God, then it ain't the doctrine of the church. Because we are the church and we are the people of God. And the doctrine is very simple to really uh, test if it's correct or not. And it's called opening the Holy Bible. And there you'll find if the doctrine lines up or not. So all of this walk agenda and walk ideologies that's being put around in some of the, the church organizations, it's incorrect. Let me tell you right now, it's from the pits of hell. Did I, did I speak too aggressively? No, that's the reality. And we don't play around with the things of the devil. We don't uh, pussyfoot around when it comes to the things of the devil. No, it's a spiritual battle. And the Bible says the violent takes it by force. What does it mean? It doesn't mean that we go out on the streets and be violent. No, it means in the things of the spirit, we are violent and the violent take it by force. So when it comes to this nonsensical doctrine that we're seeing, promoting LGBTQ ideologies, um, promoting um, critical race theory, promoting what this one world religion thing, you've seen this, right, guys, where they said that if you are Christian, if you are Hindu, if you are Muslim, we're all worshiping the same God. Let me tell you something right now, live to you and Britain and the whole of the world, whoever's watching. We are worshiping never the same God. It's impossible because if all five, six, seven world religions were, were worshiping the same God and they're all contradicting each other, then none of them will be real. But I'm here to tell you something. And there is a real God and there's only one of them. And his name is Jesus Christ. That's it. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Everything else is an imitation. Look at Islam. 600 years after the Bible, they created Islam. 600 years. If you've ever read the Quran, just read the first few pages. You'll see it's almost a carbon copy of the Bible. It's just that 
Muhammad has positioned himself and put himself inside of that scripture, like with some type of importance or greater than Moses, greater than Jesus. It's anti-Christian, demonic nonsense. Same as all of this stuff. Mormonism started with Christianity. All of these things. Uh, you know, Joseph Smith from the Mormon, he said he had a vision of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's how he started Mormonism. So you see, it stemmed from where? Somebody who is a Christian. The devil gets in, bam, they start a whole religion. Rastafarianism, it's the same thing. All trying to imitate the one true God, all trying to imitate the truth. You know, you always get imitation. You can go and buy Gucci from the shop. Then you can go to Turkey and you can buy Gucci. -chi. <laughs> or you can go and get Louis Vuitton. Uh, or you can go to Spain on the streets and buy a Louis Vuitton. You understand? So there's always going to be a copy of the original. And that's exactly what's taking place with these world religions. And what they're doing now is they're pushing for all religions to be united as one. So it's not just a one world government, it's a one world religion. That's what they're trying to do, saints. This is the reality. So when you see strategic people, such as the Pope and other figures, promoting this ideology, just remember, you know, you can see, you have the knowledge, the information. The Bible says my people suffer because of lack of knowledge. Well, we have the knowledge. They're trying to create a one world religion. And to some extent, they will succeed, but they will never bring us into that nonsense because we're already awake. We're not woke, we're awake. Somebody comes to me and mocks my, my mother, says some certain things about my mother, that there's gonna be some trouble. Why? Because I'm not gonna take that. That's, that's my mother. You're not gonna speak about my mother in a certain way in front of me. That mean that freedom of speech is not important? No, freedom of speech is important. You're free to say that, but I'm free to also bring the consequence now. So when the next Archbishop of Canterbury comes in, you see they're already pitching for it to be a female. So, you know, they've got their DEI hat on constantly. And I think what we probably see is more controlled people from the globalists, from the same people that are controlling our prime ministers and controlling our major political parties, the same people that are push, pushing their DEI agenda, they're pushing their globalism, they're pushing their open borders, they're pushing for the decimation of Western culture to be replaced by a one world culture, a one world government and a one world religion. So that's how you can see them. The Bible says that you will know them by their fruits. So we know these guys by their fruits, which is by what they do, what they say, their actions. So when we see what we've saw in that office of the Archbishop of Canterbury and all of the, the things that they've promoted, allow, allowing Islam and other religions to, to pray in church and lead prayer and all of this stuff and break their fasting historic church buildings that are heritage sites. Don't think that it's because these guys are blind. No, they know what they're doing. They're very clear on what they're doing. They're very sober in what they're doing. So I wouldn't expect too much from that change. Um, the main thing is the move of the spirit. The main thing is me and you. The main thing is what we are doing right now, which is uniting the kingdom, which is bringing the gospel in all of its spirit, power, and truth. This is the main thing that we're doing. And yes, freedom of speech is very important and very valuable, but not everything you say should come without consequence. If somebody comes to you, oh, all right, let me use me. If somebody comes to me and mocks my, my mother, says some certain things about my mother, there's going to be some trouble. Trust me, there's going to be some trouble. Why? Because I'm not going to take that. That's, that's my mother. You're not going to speak about my mother in a certain way in front of me. Does that mean that freedom of speech is not important? No, freedom of speech is important.
You're free to say that, but I'm free to also bring the consequence now. 100%. So freedom of speech has got to come with respect and honor still. And I think that's where we, we, we've missed it. And to me, it's very clear that the move away from Christianity, Christi Christian values, Christian beliefs, Christian principles has created that vacuum where people think it's okay to be hyper disrespectful and, and hyper dishonorable. Real reason for freedom of speech, like being able to speak the truth, like what Tommy Robinson has done and been sent to jail for. That's the real reason that that freedom of speech exists. Yet the side of the devil, the side of the enemy, the side of darkness and evil have twisted it around to say that's not the reason for freedom of speech. In fact, you're wrong. Don't, don't, don't report the truth. Don't speak the truth. Go to, to jail for doing that. And they promote being ab abusive being disrespectful, being dishonorable as somehow the good part of freedom of speech. No, it's not. And we're going to turn the tables the best we can and stand for the truth and stand for our great British traditions and great British Christian values and British Christian principles that we grew up with, that our grandparents instilled in us, that our parents instilled in us. That's what we stand on. And we stand on that plateau and we won't be moved. We can't be moved. The truth cannot be defeated by the false. It can't be. And we're, we're carriers of the truth. And that ultimate truth is the Lord Jesus Christ. So we win. Saints, just know we win. Even when it looks like we're not winning, we win. In Christ is the victory. And Christ in us is the hope of glory. Thank you for watching this video. For more content like this, hit the subscribe button, switch on the notification and like the video. God bless you.